Paper was like gold in medieval times. Oh, not tobacco. Sugar. That everything we thought we knew about the world might turn out to be completely wrong. Ramon and Manuela can't sell their New York house. Are we staying or are we leaving? But 10 years of family wear and tear has left its mark. The floor is definitely worn. It's, uh, it's been around for a while. And Manuela's personal touches. I love purple. That's my color. <laughs> are leaving buyers unimpressed. $3.99 is overpriced. But I'm here to help. Don't worry, I have a plan, and it's going to transform this house. With a budget of $5,000 and some clever staging and design tricks, I'm going to transform this unsellable house into one that sells. Valley Stream, New York is a quiet commuter town located just outside the borough of Queens. Perfect for families and young professionals alike. It offers a small community vibe, just a short train ride away from the big city. It's not surprising houses here are snapped up quickly, but not this one. This 1,400 square foot, four bedroom, two and a half bath home is listed at $399,000 and has been on the market for almost two years. When you're selling a home designed for a large family, it's important to highlight all the spaces that families might gather. And family gatherings are a big part of this house. Ramon and Manuela and their three kids have made some great memories here. But the kids are growing up, so it's time to downsize. It's been our home for 10 years. We loved it. A, a smaller house will be a lot happier than something so big. They don't want to help me clean. That's why they want to move. <laughs> Ramon and Manuela think this house is move-in ready. We've had people come and go, and it just uh, hasn't sold. The inside is beautiful. For me, it's beautiful. Daughter Samantha thinks otherwise. I guess I'm not seeing what they're seeing, or they see something different. We have a rainbow of colors. I love purple. That's my <laughs> color. Some things are a little outdated. We thought it was kind of cool to have big mirrored wall on the side. You got to stare at it every day. You just want to get rid of it. But two years on the market is starting to take its toll. Are we staying or are we leaving? But I'm tired of this. This is a ranch-style house with a big yard, garage, lots of space for cars, which is fantastic because that's what family buyers are looking for in this area. But it's been on the market for two years, so there's obviously a problem. And I'm going to find out what it is. So tell me, what goes on in this room? Well, this is more of the, the family room. And family if you were ever the TV, the, the biggest TV in the house anyway, that's where we spend a lot of time. Yes. You've got a lot of space in here, but you've got these big old couches. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> purple. Whose choice was that? <laughs> hey, I love purple, guess. yes. Um, now, this is the family. I'm going to guess that you didn't use a spirit level to put those paintings up. No. <laughs> uh, yeah, they're a little wonky. Yeah. <laughs> a little bit. Did you put the wallpaper up? No, it was no. like that when we came. Uh huh. But the problem is, is that is very 80s, it's old and it's peeling. Yes, it is. <laughs> and right. it's on the first wall you see when you come into the house. But I love the way this room flows, and you go straight into the dining room, which is lovely. Wow. So when you're sitting here, you look <laughs> at yourself while you're eating. Yes. White chairs. Yes, yes yeah, I think terrible. that was a, yeah. a, a mistake. They looked pretty when we bought them. And we might need to change the light fixture. The little Las Vegas for my taste. When you have very decade-specific fixtures, like this mirrored wall, it sets buyers' minds whirling. They're like, they haven't done anything to this house since the 80s. Mm -hmm. Does that mean I'm going to have to redo the wiring, the central air, the roof? Okay. And then they're looking for the imperfections rather than looking for the good things. Right. So what's up here? That's Our the, master bedroom. That's the bedroom. Can I show you? Well, let's have it. <laughs> <laughs> My eye is drawn to the furniture yeah. pieces. They don't showcase the room. They're quite sort of... Big. <laughs> big. So do you have a finished basement? Uh, it's sort of finished, but it, I think you'll, well, you'll, you'll see. OK, I'm nervous. You made me nervous, <laughs> Rob. The 
problem with basements is they always feel a bit cold and dark. And the combination of this pale blue and the vinyl, they just feel cold. I feel like, you know, the temperature's dropped about 10 degrees. <laughs> kind of depressing coming down here. See, if you're depressed, buyers are going to be depressed. I felt exactly the same. It's not a space you really want to spend any time in at all, which is sad because it's a big room and it could really add to the square footage of this house. I've seen your house now mm -hmm. and I think it's a great family home, but we do need to do some work on it. Yes. But what will be great first of all is to get some buyers in, hear their feedback. Houses in this neighborhood are selling for between $355 and $380,000. But because their home offers more square footage, Ramon and Manuela have decided to list at $399,000, above the market range. I would say the price was a little high, and we adjusted twice. But still no offers. That's why I've asked Angelica to set up an open house, so I can find out what buyers are saying and report back to the couple. Wow. It needs to be brightened up and freshened yeah. up in here, you know? It's... The wallpaper could probably go. But yeah, it's just way too dark. Yeah. Wow. That mirror, Ooh. I'm too self-conscious even. Actually, I'd probably lose weight if the mirror was there. Well, kind mirror, of watching what mirrors I'm nowadays, I think, are a little bit dated. The buyers in the open house have suggested me that the house needed some repairs. I feel like I'm in an office or something. The floor is definitely worn. It's, uh, it's yeah. been around for a while. I don't know what it, it's utilized for many things. So I just don't know what it's, it's like, like office, smiling. workout. Exactly. They need, yeah, I agree. It's, also, it's smaller. They need to change color and everything, fix it, because everything is ugly. $3.99 is overpriced. I've been telling them the price you have to change, and, and that's where we are right now. I mean, just hoping to sell the house. When people came into the foyer, they thought the same as me, that the paint colour wasn't maximising the space. Yeah, the colour is a little bit out there, I think. <laughs> That's what I like. They don't exactly. have to like it, you know. People love the idea that there's a family dining room, but they did think it was a bit dated in here. Unfortunately, bars weren't quite as um, nice about the basement. Oh, okay. Is it a gym? Is right. it an office? Right. You know, right. what's this? When you're selling your house, you want to utilize all the space. If it's a useful space, you need to give it a purpose and show it off to buyers. Obviously, a lot more has to be done. Don't worry, I have a plan, and it's going to transform this house. We're looking forward to it. We're excited. Because our target market is families, I'm using our $5,000 budget to really focus in on the home's family areas. The living room feels dated with that jarring purple paint and the floral wallpaper. I'll remove the floral wallpaper, repaint the walls, and finally reconfigure the furniture to open up the space. The mirrored panels in the dining room scream 80s. So those mirrors are coming down. They'll be replaced with decorative moldings. I'll paint the walls in elegant sage green and change up that worn out dining set. The master bedroom is full of dated furniture, which is too big for the room. I'll repaint the walls a calming grey, reposition the bed, and give that giant 80s furniture a facelift. Finished basements are very popular with potential buyers, so we need to finish this basement off. I'll paint over the cool blue tones and cover the old vinyl tile with beautiful oak laminate. More importantly, we're giving this space a purpose. We're creating a family-friendly room that buyers won't be able to resist. What we'll call it so what do you want to destroy first? Let's start with those pictures. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> Here you go. All right. When you're selling your house, it's so important to depersonalize. There's lots of family pictures on the wall. Buyers find it very distracting, and it's more difficult for them to imagine themselves in the space. All those CDs, All and CDs. Look at this. Ready to say Let's goodbye? Goodbye. Let's go. And good riddance. I know, right? <laughs> so in the living room, we're starting with a clean slate. Meanwhile, I've sent the couple on a mission to check out another house in the neighborhood. This 1,300 square foot, three bedroom, two bath house, priced well above market range at $479,000, sold in under two months. I really want Ramon and Manuela to see why buyers paid so much more for this comparable property. Wow, it's beautiful. The color, this is a lot nicer, a lot of light. But what's good is they don't have a lot of furniture here, too, so 
even though it's a small space, doesn't feel like it's cluttered. I feel like I'm in a hotel and I want to stay here. <laughs> wow, it's beautiful. So even though our, our room is a little smaller than this, the table really takes up so much space. We definitely have to get rid of that mirror. Yes. <laughs> wow, I love the color, look. The color, yeah. Our basement is, I guess, maybe what, three times the size it is, but the lighter color does make the room look bigger. They don't have that many things here, too. That's why it looks so organized. Yeah, again, yeah. I think that's that's our main problem. We just have so much stuff. No, you guys have a lot of stuff. I don't. One of the things I took away from it is that we have too much clutter, and uh, oh, we definitely have to change the colors. Yes. It makes you feel like home. You know, it makes you feel that you want to be there. Back at the house, the team clears out that outdated dining room set. The furniture in the master bedroom is wild. It's definitely retro, but not in a good way. We've taken out the big bulky furniture and it already looks bigger. So still a way to go, but I couldn't be more pleased. Now it's time to tackle the wallpaper. Wow. Wow. <laughs> hey. Sophie. Hey, what are you doing? <laughs> Our wallpaper. <laughs> I know, but does it look big in here? There's an echo here. There's an echo. There That's is. how big it is, yes. How was the comp house? Uh, it was an eye-opening experience. Yes, it was beautiful. And even though the room was smaller in size, it actually, with furnished, it, it almost looked as big as this living room is. I bet that's because the furniture was in the right place and wasn't too big for the room. Am I right? Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, no. And did you feel that the, the one room flowed into another room? Yes, yes. It did. Here, the, the, the paved tones are completely different. Yes. Now, tell me about the basement. Was it finished off? Yes. It was a basement that you want to be in and spend time with your family, you know? Right. So the good news is, your house has great bones, we can make it look fantastic. <laughs> and I have some projects lined up for you. Okay, okay. we're ready to go. Good, well, <laughs> I'm just going to pull off a bit more of this wallpaper down and I'll see you in a sec. Okay. okay. <laughs> Any dated finishes like this wallpaper are off-putting to buyers. They should be the first on your to-do list when putting your home up for sale. In the basement, my right-hand man, Dave, has a fantastic, cost-effective project for Ramon. In a concrete-floored basement, laminate floor is the way to go. So I'm going to show you how to install this floor. It's actually really easy. Really? But okay. it works way better with two people. OK. OK? <laughs> Line up your edges, lay it down. And snap it in. Bring it in. Doing the floors with, with David was, uh... It was a lot of fun. I, I, first of all, I didn't expect wood, wood laminate floors. I was thinking more along the lines of carpeting, so that took me by surprise. Little trick. Can you see the gap? Yes, I see a little bit of the gap, yes. Gone. Gapless. OK. <laughs> I can't wait to see the, uh, the look on my wife's face when she sees the floor, because she doesn't know that uh, we have floors downstairs now. Everyone is working really hard, and the house is looking really good. We've got rid of all those dated design elements, the mirrored wall, the floral wallpaper, and the difference is amazing. Now we're putting the kids to work. OK, so Samantha and Manny, I have a project that you're both going to really enjoy. Now, you recognize this piece? It's the ugly piece of furniture in our parents' room. OK. <laughs> if I had to describe my parents' style, I'd probably say there was pretty much a lack of it. Now, tell me the first word that comes to your mind when you see this. Um, ridiculous. OK, good. <laughs> Hideous. Now, this may be hideous and ridiculous, but it has a lot of life left. Well, they picked it, not me, so, you know, I'm OK. <laughs> so first up, we're going to sand the glossy surface. Not too much. We don't want to sand through. We just want to scuff it up a little. Okay. There's so many products now which will allow you to paint over lacquer and glossy surfaces that this is still a great piece. OK. Now, we're going to roll the paint to apply it but using a fine-tipped brush, that'll smooth it out. So when it dries, it'll be really soft and smooth. In this heat, speed is everything, OK? All right. As Sam and Manny lay it on, in the living room, we're doing the same. We're painting that crazy purple neutral. In the dining room, Dave installs some inexpensive molding to add an instant touch of elegance. And I have something to show Manuela. OK, Manuela, I know you usually hang pictures right at the last minute, yes. but I wanted to show you how to hang pictures properly so in your next house, they're not all wonky. OK. Are you ready to hang some pictures? Yes, I am. We've got three pictures, and we want the middle one to be centred. 
Right, so that is the centre of the wall. Now, here's the trick. Eye level, the average person, is usually about 74 inches from the floor to the top of the painting. OK. Excellent. Yeah. OK. You hold the wire like that, and then you measure the distance between the wire and the top of the picture, like that. So if okay. you hold it taut for me. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Mm -hmm. Then we measure the, from our top mark okay. down, and then we know where to put the nail in. So, so you want to hammer it in there. With the homeowner projects complete, it's time to say goodbye to the family. Well, guess what? Your wife knows how to hang pictures. That's right. <laughs> so she's okay. going to teach you how to do it, and then you can hang all the pictures in the next house. OK, right. oh, that sounds good. Well, we've still got a bit of work to do, so if you wouldn't mind giving us some space, and then you can come back when it's all finished. OK, okay. we'll look forward to it. See bye -bye. you. OK. The basement is well on its way to getting finished. We've semi-covered the vinyl flooring with the oak laminate, but already it looks so much warmer. Dave gets back to work priming, painting and adding some smart new shelves. In the master bedroom, we're bringing in our repurposed dresser and assembling a stylish new bed. Because this basement was very bare, we're using one of the sofas from upstairs to create a comfortable seating area downstairs. Now all that's left are some finishing touches. This moulding costs a couple of bucks per foot. You can get it in any hardware store. And we've created a simple, elegant design which buyers will love and will help you achieve your sale price. By placing your bed against a wall with no windows, you can position the bed in the centre of the wall you create nice space around the bed and also the symmetry is pleasing on the eye. I'm confident that buyers will feel like they're walking into a spacious and relaxing retreat. Welcome, hey. come in! Hello. <laughs> oh. Wow, look at this! Have a look at your new... Living room. Oh, my God. Beautiful. <laughs> I, I want to check the address out, so I don't think I'm in the right house. Come on. We took away one of your sofas and took away the television. Now you've got all this space. Uh, well, at least you left me one sofa. So. We did leave you one sofa. <laughs> and check it out. Now you look at that beautiful hardwood floor. It really stands wow. out against this paler colour. What do you think of those paintings? <laughs> I miss my, my kids up there, but I do love the painting. And they're level, too. <laughs> they're level. I did it, OK? Thank you. And I like the way I know you guys use this word a lot, the way the colors flow. Like, everything yes. just kind of <laughs> matches. And... Well, interesting you say that, because come on through to the dining room. Oh, wow. my God. <laughs> wow. This is awesome. I think it was very decade specific. It was very 80s. Yes, yeah. I agree. Whereas yes, this, right. it doesn't age your house. Exactly. You've got these beautiful upholstered chairs and this lovely walnut table. And the best thing about this table is it has leaves, so you can extend it out or make it smaller. Mm -hmm. But what you're doing with this table is you're really showing buyers how big this dining room is. So you're ticking the boxes bam, mm -hmm. bam, bam. And now I'm going to add one more tick to the box, okay. and that's a pretty cool master bedroom. I'm looking forward to this one. Da, da, da. Drum roll. Da, da, da. Oh, my God. Can I buy this house? <laughs> Before, it felt small. And now, look, there's a lot of space. And it's a great bedroom now. Do you recognize this piece of furniture? Yes, I do. <laughs> All we did was we took off the more retro design elements, sanded it down, and painted it. And now it fits the room. Master bedrooms are important. Buyers still want a nice, 
retreat to go to at the end of yes. the day. They want a nice bedroom. Again, I feel yes. like I'm in a different house. Yes. <laughs> okay, well, if you think you're in a different house now, you just wait till you see the basement. Oh, wow. God. Okay, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. My other sofa. Yeah. Yeah. Here is your other sofa. Look at the floor. Yes. We've got yes. oak laminate yes. flooring. We painted your old desk white. Yes. yes. And ping pong table. Ping pong. <laughs> Before you hated it. It was depressing, yes. right? Now yeah. we've got a family room with a games room and a home office. This is what buyers are looking for. You've got a finished basement. They don't have to spend any money down here. It's all done, and it's a real selling feature. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Do we have to go? <laughs> <laughs> well, I think the house looks absolutely fantastic yeah, now. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> and I think it's got a much better chance of selling now. We just need to have an open house and get those buyers in and go on from there. Yes. Sounds like a great oh. idea. Hopefully we <laughs> get this place sold. <laughs> <laughs> Hooray! <laughs> I loved it. I mean, living room, dining room, everything is so different, so elegant. Potential buyers that come in and, see, and have uh, big families like we do are absolutely going to love that space. The basement is, wow, it's such a beautiful place to be. I am so confident this house is going to sell. I'm actually going to put a down payment on another house prior to the open house. <laughs> Ramon and Manuela love the results. So let's see what the potential buyers think. so neutral and it feels warm and you just want to walk in the rest of this house in that dining room. I would just want to eat dinner with my family there. And the master bedroom, what a retreat. Fantastic. It's a place you want to be in. The basement, just total transformation. Yeah, I could see myself easily in that environment. I would definitely consider putting an offer in on this house. As soon as my son went in the basement, he threw himself in the sofa before he didn't go downstairs. This is unbelievable. I you got oh. ping pong. You got. Oh, okay, okay, right, oh, come on gosh. then. Are you ready? Oh yeah, this is what I'm talking about. Ah. <laughs> 